Rolling. <laughs> oh, baby. Welcome back to your favorite podcast. It's fucking Couple Pines Pod. Couple Pines Pod, dude. What's different today? Dos Cervezas fucking podcasto, my G. Mm -hmm. Dos Cervezas podcast. Yeah, Couple what's pines. different? Wait, let's start the episode with yeah. I Spy. Hint, it's my glasses and my what? haircut and the fact that we're in fucking Studio 69 right now, baby. What up? Let's get it. And this fucking sick piece Colin has, dude. It's it's a lava lamp, but it's also a functional bong, dude. It's sick, dude. It's my pride and joy. Also, the last thing that you'll notice is that we're both tripping sack right now, dude. He's not wrong. Maybe I'll just do it like this. Does this make me seem Dude, you more, look smart as shit. Does this make me seem more intellectual? Hey, quick question. You have what? Seven PhDs? For the last time, I have 13. You piece of shit. <laughs> Mr. Doctor. Also, Professor. Also, we sold our fucking mic stands for crack, so there's that, too. Shout out Hunter Biden. Thanks for the hookup. Yeah, dude, my G. But welcome back to your favorite podcast, Couple Pines Pod. That was the coldest <laughs> opening of all time. Cold meaning fucking sick, dude. I was so excited um, the whole time. This week, we're all fucking jacked up on Mountain Dew and the idea that we no longer need to really have a fucking... It's anything. To it's talk about. almost freeing. We have shit to talk about, but then we talk about it leading up to talking about it. And then we're like, yeah, fuck that shit. Let's yeah, just don't talk. think we don't have stuff to talk about. Let's we just chat. Have we have stuff to hey, talk about. Hey, have you ever heard of all the things? Yeah, we have that. But in terms of things to talk about, we have all the things to talk about. You know Every what I mean? Single one you could think Does that about? make sense? Can you calculate that in your puny little fucking brain? You piece of shit. I still can't understand. That was so mean. <laughs> I'm sorry. You idiots. If you're watching this, and I know we're the only two who watches, so. You nitwits. I love you. You ninkow poops. <laughs> ninkow poops. <laughs> you fucking dunguses. <laughs> <laughs> Dungus. Hey. Hey, you. Little half pint. Yeah. You little fucking <laughs> coronita. Have you ever seen those? They're so cute. The, the coronitas. Coronitas? Yeah, it's a Corona, but it's in like a oh, smaller bottle. Okay, yeah, I know. What you're I don't know about. if this is close enough to my mouth. Without a mic stand, I can't believe we stole their mic stands for crack. I know, dude. dude. That was a good sell, though. Yeah. We got a good deal. It was good. The crack was good. Anyway, this episode is brought to you by the Sin Bin. Sin Bin, where your dreams go to die. <laughs> and that's the whole ad read. That's all they sent us. So that's fun. Anyway, what the fuck are we talking about? Hey, you wanna you wanna hear something that I've I've kind of I told you before we started. I'm sorry that I'm meth mode, but like, what the fuck are, yeah, what's interesting? Okay, so I just want to preface this with I'm gonna derail this as much as I can, and we'll see where it gets us. You and, and I, then and then we sit down at the end of the week and we're like, why does no one listen to this? And it's probably because of me, but I don't. I think it's just because people don't want to hear both sides of the story in one podcast it's too much for them to handle it's I like okay i can only handle one side of the story you're handing both of both of the sides to me right now on a plate look every story are you kidding me it, it's a classic hey saying. it's a classic saying every story has one side and i'm gonna tell it for you so <laughs> <laughs> everyone knows that saying dude so we, anyway, if we were to stand up right now, you're substantially taller than me, correct? Yeah. So in in terms, to me, you'd be quote unquote a giant. That's a great fucking segue. Quote unquote giant. <laughs> quote unquote with nothing in the middle, spaced giant. Giant. Two pairs of at, two pairs of quotation marks, spaced giant. Giant. Continue. I'm I'm making the claim know, now. I? Holy shit. Yeah, you're not All right, even talk on about frame. giants. I'm making the claim now that giants were at one point real. Oh, that's funny because I'm standing right fucking here, dude. You can talk shit about hey, me while I'm standing right fucking here. You, dude. you talk, dude. No nipple having short like hey, having. Suck one, dude. Oh, there's so much hair there, though. You, you can't even see it. You dude. Chewbacca, hairy pepperoni <laughs> nipple, motherfucker. That's me, baby. I'm so, saying giants existed. I have a girlfriend, dude. It's chill, dude. Giants were what? real. 
Giants. Were they? I'm saying yes, they were. I mean, look, this is another thing. I there it is. We started this podcast, and I was like, I'm gonna debunk everything. But after 59 weeks, hey, <laughs> what up? Sorry. Uh, I'm at the point where, like, if it's fun, I'll entertain it. So, like, yeah, maybe. Tell me, tell me about it. Okay. Let's prep. Yeah, go. I'll add it in later. So, the first thing I'm looking at right here is a map out theoretical view of extra large skeletons that have been found over the years. I'm Excuse not going to say the ones that exist nowadays Whoa. because, but yeah, that fine, that, that was stupid because obviously those aren't exciting. But there was one. I'm going to start right now. Are you going to start right now? I'm going to start right now. Hold on, let me brace myself. 15 feet tall. Found in Southeast Turkey late in the 1950s. It's probably like Yao Ming's great uncle or something. 10 6. Quoted in See, what I one don't, Sam, what 17, I don't get 14. based off this thing. And you know what? Let's put the picture right here. Right, uh, right here. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't like. <laughs> All right, you got me. I don't like that it goes. Dude, if I could line this up, that'd be so sick. I don't like that it. Oh, wait, it'd be on this side. I don't like that yeah. it goes six foot, 15, 15 feet. Eight, like six, eight, six, ten, and then six, fucking, and twelve, then, and then exponentially larger from there. Like, why is the fifteen footer not up with the fucking? Also, you're gonna tell me a human grew to that size. Read that size. What's that so size right there? Thirty-six what's, what's feet that size tall. Right there? Thirty-six. It was found in sixty, six fifty BC, or between six fifty BC and six forty AD. And that's, so that's when they're claiming it was around. Hey, that's fine. It's all good. But at the same time, like that could totally be just some fucking like archaeology major who dug up like a T Rex bone and didn't discover now, the rest of it because he's a shitty archaeologist. And then he's like, it's a fucking human femur, dude. This is Fuck one you, of the dude. bones. Are you telling me that's, that's exactly what I'm talking about? I'll include this picture too. This guy found a fucking dinosaur bone. Are you sure? Like, it's a fucking human femur. I don't know. Dude. Do you think a dinosaur bone says, would look right? like a that? Femur? Yeah. Giant human femur uncovered in Ohio in 2011. I don't Fuck know if you. a dinosaur femur would look like that. He probably went on a bender and got Could like be a fake, though. T-Rex fucking shin bone or some shit. I don't think that's a animal That was femur. my other thought. When you showed me this, I was like, these are all fucking props, dude. I don't think that's an animal femur. I mean, also, not I mean, to mention, aren't we animals? I mean, I know I'm a fucking what, animal, dude. What creature has can do that in the Sorry. bedrock? That could, uh, I don't know. What? Get mad. I guess I'll put this picture in too. Look at this big foot. Oh, dude. <laughs> now, it's not just so, the fucking big foot. It's, oh, yeah. I didn't mean like Sasquatch. I meant look at this literal large footprint. It's a ginormous <laughs> footprint. Editing is already going to be a bitch because I'm meth mode and I know I'm going to be exhausted when I edit this. It's going to be great. So I'm making the claim that there at one point, because it's in all the history books, it's in all the stories that is that are told from the path about how yeah, dude. there was giants in battle or giants aided or giants. It's in did every this. history book. Like remember in high school when we learned about fucking mythical creatures in U.S. history and global history class. I was when sick, you learned dude. about Goliath, David versus Goliath. Did you go to a Catholic school? No, but High-key. that's. Did you go to public school? I went to when I started off. I started in a catholic school and then my second grade i was going to public school oh okay yeah it's not too bad but i still know the the story of how yeah that- everyone knows david and goliath yeah. shouts out toe-to-toe streetlight manifesto you will go toe-to-toe like david and goliath or how the egyptian hieroglyphs there's there's figures of humans that are drawn so much fucking bigger than other yeah, ones on the same exact line the egyptians were like a whole fucking different thing yeah but, but if 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 they're a completely different thing and they had giants back then, that would mean my theory would hold true. Yeah. But also I could be like, hey, Game of Thrones was a documentary. You see those fucking giants, bro? That's based off real shit. You're telling me the White Walkers are coming? No, it's the middle of summer. Okay. Um, no, look, it is mad cool to be like, yeah, shit is fucking... Shit's popping off in the history books. I was just making fun of you because you were like, every history book you've ever fucking read. Fucking 
the uh you know that one like um fucking charlotte's web that one you know no, that's not a history book <laughs> see this is where we this is where hey here's the train the tracks are like over near dude, the fucking, like bomb, fucking dude. hatchet like that one <laughs> <laughs> like oh that dude <laughs> dude fucking into the wild when the giants fucking kill chris mccannon dude Dude, what, crazy, like dude. fucking Ember City, the one that one. I don't even know what that is. Are you kidding me? Percy Jackson and the Olympians, boom, Giants. back on track. Ooh, Giants wandering around. around Manhattan. What up, dude? What up, dude? See, am I redlining you- yet? No, you are. I am. Oh, Shit balls. Down just a little bit. So yeah, they're real. So yeah, or basically, we're, we're all real. fucked. Coming, the giants. Wait, okay, so aside from this fucking hungover college kid digging up a prop bone, what evidence do you have? I just got deja vu. I feel like I've said that on the podcast before. Oh, you probably asked what evidence I have. No, 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 time. not what evidence do you have. Prop bone. I don't know why. You could have. You know what I think about deja vu while you find shitty evidence is uh, I feel like deja vu is like flashbacks from different lifetimes. Hmm. Like, for all we know, you and I had, like, a, fuck, what's it called in a newspaper? Not a, a tabacle. What's the word? For all I know, there was, like, a couple pints newspaper column back in, like, the 1700s. And then you were like, dude, John's fucking real. And everyone freaked the fuck out. And then I was like, nah, dude, but it's all printed, so no one believes my bullshit. I got all of it. I just got really deja vu from being like, I said prop bone, and I don't know if props were a thing back then, but theater was a thing. So theater props were thing. definitely props a thing. Props were 100%. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I got major this, deja this vu. I evidence. genuinely believe that, though. This is a little evidence right here. Mysterious Giants of Nevada, findings of Lovelock Cave. Dude, Lovelock Cave sounds sexy. But mixing it up today, here's another huge, all caps, thing they hid from us. The fact that there were giants everywhere. The Smithsonian cover up once again. I wait. don't know if they covered it up. I don't think what? they covered oh, it up. Oh, there's a period there. The Smithsonian cover up. Once again, there's a reason they hide this from us. What's the reason? Oh, I and then know. we talk about the Bible. Sick, dude. So Fuck your giants. Either, now, the only theoretical thing that goes through my mind that would make sense is obviously the theory of evolution. Yeah, okay, yeah, and maybe you're going this way with it, and if you're not, I'm going to go with this way with it. Like, maybe some form of human, probably from, like, the Norway area, got way too big, big boy. started dying off. Dude, that's where giantism comes from. Do you know anyone with giantism? Do you know what that is? Um, with, Actually, I went yeah, to high I school. one kid. I, I went to high kid. school with a kid with giantism. They and just grow crazy. Yeah, but evolution, I could see that. Like, maybe there was, like, this village that, like, plundered and pillared and spread their weird giant DNA, and then, like, everyone got way too big, and then... Well, people always said And then, Vikings. you know, you know, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, was like, nah, uh, dude, you got to get smaller, bro. You got to shrink that dick hey, size a little bit, you, you know what I mean? shrink down a little bit. But also- this episode is 200% getting us a strike. <laughs> We're getting a flag. But what the people in the in and the also books. I learned today strikes don't wear off. We still have the strike from like ten weeks ago, misspreading medical information. We already said we're sorry. We have a Vimeo, dude. Don't worry about it. Let's go. But if Vikings, point exact, were substantially well, I don't bigger, think it's Vikings. I know, but they were just substantially I think bigger as regular humans. If we're gonna time, if we're gonna argue, well, yeah, because they were fucking yoked, dude. Now think back to how every scientist says Neanderthals and humans that were back in that time were given in the right area, like you said, up in the Arctic, substantially larger. I only said that because, like, that's where a lot of mythology takes place. I know, but that's even true to animals today. Like you you think to northern, you think some motherfucker in like you think some motherfucker in like Uruguay is going to be a giant? No, but. Because they adapted way faster than these frozen ass bitches. I'm saying there it's I don't know what that has to do with anything. Sorry, Uruguay. I love you. Big animals roam the earth for a long yeah, time. Yeah, like ice age shit. So Why wait, are you saying that giants existed with like woolly mammoths? 
I will, ah, well, see, that's the thing. There's no cave drawings of giants. So I'm not going to say that, but I'm going to say they were around. I think it came after, dude. I th- I'm going to say they came the only, after. The only way I can justify this, and I'm going to do it in the least possible scientific way, would be some motherfucker with giantism and a huge fucking giant nutsack started banging, right? Just launching. Next it. thing you know, Homeboy made like a colony of giants, but then all the people where he was that already thought he was a freak were like, dude, you and your freaky kids got to leave, bro. Now there's like this colony of giants wandering around, right? But they all had giantism and they're all fucking the whole time. So it's spreading a little bit. And that's how I know one kid now who has giantism. But at the end of the day, a majority of them died off because, you know, giantism. So it could have just it could have just been a long string of birth defects like before people knew like oh you know DNA you know what i mean or there could have been just a g- race of battle ready giant people with substantial superhuman strength i mean yeah that's more fun i'm going to go that way yeah it's definitely more fun like giant I, oh there's a picture of the giant axes oh yeah that too yeah but those are but also they're props. very awkwardly shaped. Yeah, also I, those I'm pretty we'll sure We'll put that picture in now. Okay. Mm. I'm pretty sure those That picture I'm going to flash for literally half a second. We'll put that picture in again right now. All right, that's it. We're probably some sort of No, those thing axes on a Viking were ship. I yeah, don't think it looked they were like, fucking usable yeah. axes. No. And like, well, what I thought was if, weird If there were even axes created like that, they'd disappear. They wouldn't be they they still wouldn't be here. They degrade. Not necessarily. I don't know. Um, I don't think they had steel. I think they were using stone. Okay. Maybe. Either way, my dad just got into blacksmithing is like his midlife crisis. And so I've been learning about like weaponry and shit. And with axes and the axes you showed me will flash again right here. And (laughs) the handles are weird because like the head is super small. Just like your weird looking dick. And then it like <laughs> the, hand the handle super small. No, but then the handle starts super small, but then it gets super girthy <laughs> right at the end. Like it's really weird. And my dad told me, because he read a book about it, like weaponry and shit, um, that axe handles have to be like like they can't do that. Like some sword handles at the top start really wide so your hand doesn't slip yeah. up and then get really skinny so you could grip it. But like axe handles, the to fucking do damage have to be like one just like they perfect gotta be a shaft, right? Yeah, just perfect shaft, just like mine. But like yeah, no curve. The head, no the head was too small no for like this cap. weird giantism shaft. It was just odd. And we'll flash a picture again right here. But, and uh, I oh forgot what God. I was talking about. I liked. I, I was a fan of everything you were saying. So what other evidence Wait, do you have? Oh shit! I thought the timer stopped. For a second, I thought you were going to say this wasn't on, and I was going to be like, all right, then this episode is silent. This episode is just Because I would doing not it. have restarted. No, I couldn't see it rolling from where I am. Other evidence? I'm not going to bring any other bullshit into this. I'm just going to say it and leave it there, because I don't want to say all the other fucking shit he tried to bring into it. I mean, that just makes it almost incredible. Yeah. I mean, this, the, yeah. I'm not going to go. It's there. a little weird. I love the idea of the guy presenting it a little bit fucking weird. Weird ideas. Do you want to talk about what I sent you the other day that we said in the fine print is actually bad and just try and only say the last name of one person? What? So remember that thing I sent you where you're like, oh, well, it kind of looks like what that the whole meeting is doing is kind of for the good. And I was like, well, it's, oh, it's oh, led the, by the other day, that was literally today. Was it today? I think so. Or was it yesterday? Oh, it was today. It was like 12 in the morning. I don't know. Uh, Might have been. I don't know. But maybe we could talk about that. I'm going to crawl under this fucking table and get a beer. Maybe you could set up the story while I do that. Yeah, I'll set up the story. Also, this studio's super fucking tiny, so I'm a mole person now. I'm Later. gonna set up the story and then I'm gonna hit lap when I'm done. So you know when to just cut out. Okay. Or maybe I'll just go the whole time. Who knows? You yeah, give a take. Okay. 
Let me move my knee. Right here. I'm actually not kidding, though. I literally He's not joking. He's serious. He has to go all the way under the table to get out of here. Maybe you'll see him. Oh. Oh. Nope. Fuck yeah, dude. You were out of frame the whole time. That's awesome. Where is it? There he is. All right. So now, this is this is the Sedona Forum. You've probably heard J Mac and I. I can't remember how many episodes ago it was. Doesn't matter. Either way, we talked about the Bilderberg meetings. The meetings that are completely closed off from any media. No one can get in unless you're invited. They make rules about the upcoming laws, about the whole world. That meeting? Well, this is pretty much the same exact thing. It's put on by someone who you probably have no idea it who he is unless you actually looked into it because who why would you why would you ever know who it is why would you even know or want to know what this person has done so just look it up you'll see who it is it's it's got a lot of powerful people i'm talking a shit ton of powerful people and on top of that just like the Bilderberg meetings, it's closed to the media. You can't you can't get in to see or even know what they're talking about. the The list of the names is just, I would, it's it, it boils down to the point where you're like, hey, um, I didn't know you had to take into consideration how the whole entire world was going to be ruled or governed because of what your job actually is. That's kind of fucking weird. You know what I just realized? Your first transition was so good. And then this just makes no sense, but you can continue. Well, I'm trying not to say any names. Yeah. I'm trying not to say. I guess this is kind of almost like a current event. Um, Yeah, there's this sort of like G2 summit-esque meeting not like about the environment but just like a lot of powerful people meeting about a lot of necessary topics that should be talked about Mm -hmm. um but it's all funded by a fucking weirdo who has no right having a say in any of this shit should never even have a role in it god this guy sucks oh he is the worst yeah You know what's even weirder? Have you seen how many reporters that have been doing interviews with a certain person with a foundation who brings up his name? Have you ever seen how fast they try and end the interview or flip the script? I don't know what you're talking about. So let's say you're a big news outlet. All right. I'm coming on to the news to do... What's up? My name's fucking Foxy Williams. Oh, I was going to say Todd Steele. Shouts out my favorite weatherman. My name's Storm Grissom. Storm Grissom. It's a real guy. Really? Yeah, News 12 Long Island. Sick dude. He's great. But I'm coming on to the So news. anyway, now I'm Storm Grissom. And you're It's probably going to rain tomorrow. You're interviewing me about some either topic or foundation that okay. I have. I bring up his name. Wait, let's role play it. Okay. All right. So So, even though I'm a meteorologist and definitely underqualified to be doing interviews on national TV, tell me about your fucking, the shit you got going on, dude. Well, thanks for having me on your show. I mean, the news. This is just (laughs) (laughs) fantastic. This is just. Um, See, there's one thing I want to say before I go, and there's a certain person who something, sure, is. uh, Be more ambiguous, sir, please. It does great for ratings. Now, I don't know if I can even say his name because... Is his name that... Wait. Pause. Cut. Is his name like that? Yeah. The last time someone tried to bring his name up, the... Is someone us? No. No, no, no. Okay. The reporter Mm -hmm. literally mid-interview said, hey, okay, um, hey, 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 we're not going to bring him into this. Um, 
Let's okay. move on to another topic or end the interview. We're not going to go into that. All right. My role play was a terrible idea. What are we talking about? You, you know what we're talking about. You know it. So anyway, this is another shit show we call a couple pine spot. Safe to say. Give granola bars to the homeless. <laughs> we're out of here. Also, kiss your neighbor on the lips. Later, losers.